In this video, we'll discover about habits that kill your productivity and focus. If you want to make progress faster in your personal life and career, the two ingredients you need are your ability to be highly productive and your focus strength. However, for that to happen, there are a lot of sneaky productivity killers that can potentially prevent you from achieving success. Despite disciplining and working hard, it might seem like you are not making headway because of some little habits that you may not be aware of that you possess. From the position of a productivity expert, here are some of the habits that are silently killing your productivity and focus. Recognizing and eliminating these habits will enable you to become more productive and strengthen your focus without needing to put in more hours or work harder. In fact, you will be able to get much more done by working smarter instead of harder as soon as you get rid of these habits. Habit 1. Having unnecessary tabs open on your browser. When you are working online, close tabs that are not relevant to you again. Make sure that only the necessary tabs are open. One of the easiest ways to get distracted is seeing a notification on your email, Facebook, or messaging tabs. You will always be tempted to want to check what that notification is about. The urge will be too strong for you to resist. This is what will steal your attention and can consequently drag you in. You can be sucked into the internet vortex, capable of costing you the extra 20 to 45 minutes that could have been spent doing something more productive with the quick check. Further, by reacting to the notifications, you are essentially operating on autopilot where you help some people fulfill their agenda instead of jealously protecting your time and trying to fulfill yours. Habit 2. Checking your phone immediately after you wake up in the morning. Many people share this habit of always checking their phones first thing in the morning. We do this without even realizing that it is a bad habit. The problem is, is that we are instantly in a reactive mode when we do this. And this can easily make our focus, ideas, and thoughts to be hijacked by the notifications, emails, and messages we have received overnight. When this is done, instead of thinking of our goals, we would be forced to think about those messages. Don't get this twisted. It's not bad checking your social media or emails in the morning, but when it forces you to operate reactively instead of proactively towards generating new ideas for your goals, then it becomes a problem. Habit 3. Watching TV or Netflix first thing in the morning. Just like using your phone first thing in the morning, a lot of people still watch TV in the morning for at least one hour before starting their day. This habit is a fast killer of your productivity and focus. The fact is that you are already distracting your mind when you start your day by watching Netflix or TV first thing in the morning. What you are doing is to configure your mind to accommodate distractions for the rest of the day. Your brain will want more dopamine as you have already started your day with it. When you have already numbed your mind by watching TV in the morning, it will be much harder to fight distraction. More so, the time you spend with your TV can be used for something more productive such as committing yourself to empowering morning routines like reading inspiring books, visualizing, doing affirmations, reviewing your goals, planning your day, or meditating. You are setting yourself up for a highly productive and focused day by following a morning routine, unlike spending time watching Netflix or TV in the morning. Habit 4. Leaving alerts and notifications on. A very simple and fast change you can quickly implement to improve your focus and productivity is to switch off your alerts and notifications on all your devices, especially on your smartphones. As previously mentioned, the alerts and notifications will always compete for your attention. Instead of putting you in a proactive mode, you will be forced to be in a reactive mode because your attention is being controlled by someone else. In fact, for every application alert left unseen, you will always be tempted to check it, as it opens a loop in your mind that needs to be urgently closed. Zegernek effect is what this is called. The psychological pulls of wanting to close the loop are just too strong to resist. This is usually difficult especially when our willpower is weak later in the day. The habit of switching off your notification will not only make you productive and focused, but it will also help you become less overwhelmed and stressed. You will also discover peace of mind, knowing that you are in charge of your day. It will only take less than three minutes of your time. Try it and see for yourself. To start, ensure that you are switching off your notifications and alerts when you are working on your most important tasks, in order for you to be able to direct all your energy and focus on it. Habit 5. Sleeping in. You tend to carry the lazy mindset throughout the rest of your day when you lazily start your day. Sleeping in quickly will position you in a lousy state of mind, which will make it much more difficult to motivate yourself to work hard. This is what leads to time-wasting and procrastination. Habit 6. Eating bad foods. 
Eating bad food is another focus and productivity killer. Your energy level will crash hard, leaving you unable to work with intensity and focus when you eat bad food that contains a lot of sugar and trans fat. Instead, ensure that you take enough healthy food and veggies to be able to fuel your brain and body, as they will provide you with the right vitamins to perform at your peak level. You must also take things easy with the caffeine. If you like coffee, you have to consume it moderately so that you will not experience the downside but the benefits. The author of Hyperfocus, Chris Bailey, mentioned that consuming caffeine strategically can offer you a focus and a productivity boost. It has been established that it helps to focus more intensely and even improve your short-term memory if you consume up to 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is about two cups of coffee. However, if you consume more than 200 milligrams, you will notice that the effects start diminishing. It will lead to decreased focus and anxiety for amounts more than 400 milligrams. This should be strongly avoided. You, therefore, need to strategically consume caffeine. When you're about to slide into a hyper-focus mode, drink a cup of coffee and don't consume more than two cups per day. Plus, don't consume it after 1,700 hours because it will affect your quality of sleep. Habit 7. Not drinking enough water. A lot of people often overlook the effect of drinking enough water. It is to be noted that drinking enough water helps to improve the performance of the brain, thereby making you work with more intensity and focus. You will start to immediately feel the negative impact of not drinking water once you are dehydrated because the brain consists of 75% water. If they have had water, their response is likely to be a no. In fact, not enough water will lead to lower energy production, leaving you fatigued, not sharp and foggy while drinking enough water ensures that the energy production of the brain is functioning well. The absence of enough water in your system will make it difficult for you to reach your flow state. Habit 8. Being productive versus being busy. One of the surest ways to destroy your productivity is not being able to distinguish between your important task and your unimportant ones. Understand that not all tasks are the same. That is why you need to be able to recognize the difference between being busy and being productive. You must be aware that some tasks are more valuable than others. These tasks will usually require your skill, which brings about a more impactful result. Instead of focusing on the value you created, quality. If you merely focus on the number of tasks, quantity you have completed throughout the day, you are looking at productivity from the wrong perspective. When you create a lot of value is when you can be productive, and not by the number of tasks you were able to do. It was Peter Drucker who said, There is nothing so useless as doing efficiently that which should not be done at all. This is why some people are more productive just by working for a few hours on one or two tasks, compared to someone else who works for 8 to 10 hours and crushed 25 different tasks. Focus on how much value you have created instead of focusing on how much you have done. That is what productivity is all about. Habit 9. Not scheduling your days and weeks. If you pay more attention to your days, you will notice that most of all your unproductive days are days you didn't schedule well. You will just wander around if you don't schedule your days and weeks. You already know what you want to do and what you would like to achieve in a day. So you need to have a kind of work ethic. If you don't protect your time for the most valuable task, it will fall prey to other people's agenda or distractions. Margarita Tartagovsky said, Productivity isn't about being a workhorse, keeping busy, or burning the midnight oil. It's more about priorities, planning, and fiercely protecting your time. This is why you have to develop a solid battle plan for your days and weeks. Ensure that you will be able to follow and execute those plans, because it will help you make valuable decision-making energy, which is a limited resource during the day, and function with more focus and determination. You will notice that after scheduling your day, you won't have to bother about what to do next, because it has already been figured out. It might interest you to know that the moment you bother about what to do next is when procrastination sets in. You will be able to work with more ease and clarity. Habit 10. Putting your to-do list in your mind. The habit of storing your to-do list and tasks for the day in your mind is a bad habit that kills focus and reduces productivity. It is better to take some minutes to externalize your to-do list before you start the day. Your brain is designed to problem solve, focus, generate new ideas, and think critically. It is not a place for storage of tasks or new ideas. However, your attentional space is filled to the brim when you store all your to-dos in your mind. And when this happens, you won't have space to focus intensely or generate new ideas. Take it as a computer with no space for a hard drive. You will experience a lot of stress and anxiety when you store many things in your mind, as you have a lot of mental loops that want to be closed. Check Habit 4 for the Ziegernick effect. All you have to do is to put your to-do list on paper. 
It is no surprise that journalizing is a powerful habit. Lots of thoughts on the mind will lead to worries, unclear ideas, and no attentional space for generating new ideas or solving problems. However, you will experience better thinking, peace of mind, and clarity as soon as you do a brain dump in which you write down everything on your mind. Habit 11. Multitasking. Research has revealed that it will take an average of 25 minutes to regain your full focus on a task at hand once you shift your attention from it or become distracted. Psychologists call this attention residue, which means that some of your attention is still left behind on the previous task your brain was handling. If you switch your brain from task to task, your brain's energy and focus will decrease. Steve Uzel said, Multitasking is merely the opportunity to screw up more than one thing at a time. This is the reason some people become worn out and tired at the end of the day, even though their job is less demanding. You, therefore, have to avoid multitasking and focus on a task at a time. By doing so, you will have more energy and focus to crush the task on your tables. Habit 12. Procrastinating You must note that procrastination is one of the top enemies of success. It has made the dreams of many ambitious people find their way to the grave. In the real sense, all the habits above lead to procrastination. So, you will already find it easier to stop procrastinating and start crushing your tasks when you aim to remove these habits out of your life. If you have been trying to overcome procrastination with no success, everything you need to know about it and how to easily overcome it is being discussed below. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.